Okay, Kim Go Yun says she took over Marduk's job. All right, Moonshine Girl, I'm sorry. I just don't, I don't follow. I don't, uh, I don't know what Marduk's job is. If it's a reference to anything that Zechariah Sitchin has ever put out, I'm a, I apologize. I'm just not a follower. I, I do not have respect for the man's research. I do have respect for the man. He spent a, a prodigious amount of his life doing all this research, but he was also financially connected. His theory didn't just blow up and he didn't become a multimillionaire because he wrote a fascinating thesis. He was putting out material because he was paid to. If you do some research on who, on the foundation that supported Zechariah Sitchin and put his research, there is a definitive reason why they wanted Sitchin's research out there. Now, I am not a Sitchinite. I totally disagree with almost every premise that he has ever put out. The good value I find in Sitchin, though, is his archaeological stuff. I love reading about Uruk and Ur and Abraham and all that, but his chronology is so contorted. It is so terribly off. And in my videos, I show how to, how to correct it and where those references are and what they are. I'm just not a Sitchinite. Especially with his theory that the Great Pyramid, the sarcophagus, was built to imprison Marduk. It's, it's not what it's built for at all. And I should, my, my pyramid videos show the 138-year protocol that is, that is definitively shown. I really wish I, I could get some, some academics, some professional scholars to debate about the Great Pyramid because we would lay some rules down. I will answer anything they ask, but they have to answer what I ask as well. And one of the main things I'm going to ask is, are you in agreement that Sir Flinders Petrie's measurements of the Great Pyramid of Giza are still scientifically accurate today when they were done to a thousandth of an inch. And they're going to have to say yes, because it's in every single Egyptological reference. The only measurements accepted by Egyptology are Sir Flinders Petrie. And when you do that, and when you take Sir Flint, Sir Flint uh, Scott, I'm having trouble saying his name, and I hadn't even started on my bourbon tonight. I'm a uh, there is no getting around the fact that almost every rectilinear measurement of the Great Pyramid is divisible perfectly, not in decimal form, perfectly in 138-year increments, in two-dimensional two everywhere. It's, it's fascinating. It must be examined. No scholar, no academic can claim not to know it. If, if they do, then they're not even uh, supposed to be a part of the dialogue. It says, this is something that must be answered before we consider what that monument is. And for those of you who have followed my, my videos, you already know, I believe it was a machine. I believe the carrier mechanism that went forward and backward in the grand gallery has been removed, but it can be reassembled. I would love to, I would love to be a part of a project. I don't have to lead anything, but I would love to be a part of a project, a think tank where... 10, 12 of us get together and we pull our resources, we pull our somebody could fund that and we, and we would absolutely confront the scientific world with our findings on the Great Pyramid because we'd shock them. Because I don't believe any scientists or academics are watching my channel. I'm nobody. I'm Jason Brashears. I'm, I'm just not going to. The Demiurge himself is going to make, to make sure that my material, man, is only going to reach those who not only can absorb it, but those who themselves are not going to be able to propagate it. It's just the way it's just the way it is. I'm fully accepted that I'm never going to be widely known and I don't want to because they're going to take me out. And this is why I have given Mr. Devereaux everything is because when that day comes, I'm not worried about it. It's just a simulation. I'm going to wake up and take off my VR headset and I'm going to, I'm going to say, man, that was a hell of a ride. Y'all had me play a really interesting character and my personality will remain intact. But all this baggage that I've caught since I've been here will remain behind because that's what the simulacrum is about. The simulation was originally designed so we could solve a problem. And while we're solving that problem, we could actually suffer the things that we needed to suffer in order to spiritually grow. But once we've grown, we can leave it behind without consequence because nothing that's ever happened here is real. That's my belief. Now, how'd y'all like that? Taking my glasses off to accentuate a point. I might have to try that more often because last time somebody, Charles Brooke, as a matter of fact, said that I did something very genius in my last video, man, using a pickle as a prop. Never thought. I just like pickles. I'm addicted to them. I had no idea that it was thought that it was a prop. I might have to return to that pickle though. I love pickles. Let's see. 